Andy. It's just Sarah Milliken. Um, I just thought I'd give you a ring just about the photo shoot on Wednesday. Um, the man with all of the cats said he can drop all 15 of them off at 10 o'clock. I hope that's all right for you. And I'm going to make sure that my cat suit is covered in Felix, like we chatted about. Um, I hope that's all all right. It's going to be great. Take care. See you then. Bye. If you could describe in three words your style, what would it be? Freewheeling, planned. Um, Andy, are you Just shy? I am quite shy, yes. It's an odd job to do then, isn't it? Yes, but uh, I like being in that studio with when it's just you and me and maybe a makeup person i i love that as, as the three of us working together i get quite a few requests of people wanting to come in and you know they're, they're nice and can, i'm a student or i'm a photographer can i come and assist and all that i always say no i just like the closing the door and having some fun is comedy important i think comedy is massively important I always think about, and we've had this, you know, with Nelson Mandela dying last week. Nelson Mandela is the only politician that I can think of. When they've died, there's just this wave of sadness. I think you get that same thing when a when a really well loved comedian, when Eric Morecambe died. God, it was so sad. So, and that shows you, I think, how how comedy is important to people. I think comedy is, well, it's certainly in, in my life and my family's life, it goes all the way through the core of. It goes cut through the core of, you can imagine it being a, a beam of light that goes down streets and up, up countries and I think comedy is absolutely vital. Uh, supplementary to that then, do you think uh, comedy is underrated? I think by some people, certainly live comedy. I get disappointed when I'm at a show and you get people who have clearly never been to a live gig before and they don't behave in a way that is respectful to the comedians. I, I'm always amazed when you're at a DVD shoot and everybody understands it's a DVD shoot and halfway through people stand up to go to the bar. And oh, people who heckle j just streams of rubbish. It, it just wastes everybody's time. It's not funny. Forget it. When was the happiest time of your life? Now. When was the unhappiest time of your life? Now. What do you think is more important? You getting the right shot or the comedian being happy with the shot? Me getting the right shot. Did you think I'd say that? Yeah. Okay. If you were honest, yeah. Yeah. You might not have said it, but you would have been dishonest. Tell me your tell me your favourite memory of, photo of 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 taking a shoot or a photo shoot. You know, in your career of being a, a photographer of comedians, your favourite memory, the one that every now and then, where you feel a bit down the dumps, so you're driving back from London, you go, ah, oh, it was worth it because of that. Uh. I can't remember who I was photographing, but um, it was a taxi from work down to the Apollo and uh, the guy pulled up outside the Apollo and I got out of the car and I think it was, um, there was a huge billboard at the side of the Apollo, top to bottom of Rod Gilbert and I didn't, and it was a shot that I'd done and I didn't know. My, my, my favourite thing to do is when I see somebody in the, in the back of a pub or a little club and you, you realise how good they are and you, you take pictures of them at that time and, and that person, their career grows and their, their amazing skills grow and they take you all the way to the O2 and all the way to the Apollo. It's, it's like loving a band as a teenager. Uh, during your time as a photographer, what's the best piece of advice that anyone's given you? I was really lucky that I was given some amazing advice by uh, my mate Andy Sanderson. Uh, back in the days when people wrote letters, he wrote me a letter and said, um, shoot what you love and keep shooting. 
and that was the absolute best advice because when I was early on film, uh, I had no way of printing what I was shooting, but I did keep shooting, and I, you know, you, you, that's how you gradually build up a, an So archive. shoot what you love. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. Right. If you could work alongside any photographer in the world, uh, who would it be and why? Well, I mean, uh, I, there's, there's a couple. Um, Richard Afton's my favourite photographer uh, who worked in New York, he's American. Um, can I choose a day? or a, a day? You, where is your exhibition on this? <laughs> um, he, he took two of his favourite photographs, are amazing and, and they're very sort of timely. He shot Charlie Chaplin in 1952. And um, he'd been after Chaplin for years and years and years, and he'd written to him and never received a reply. Now Chaplin at that time uh, was after by was after MacArthur was after him, in the, you know in the communist trials, and he decided he was going to leave America that morning for Switzerland. So he rang Afton up and said, "Right, I'm in New York. You take him a picture today." And uh, I would I would have loved to have been on a fly, a fly on the wall for that. Uh, the picture is amazing. Uh, it's it's like this. Chaplin is holding up horns, like you know they used to absolutely love me. He was the most famous man in the world. Now he was seen as being a devil. So I would have loved to have been there for that. My other one would be David Bailey, Lennon and McCartney, nineteen sixty-five, just to see him walk into the studio and see what they'd do. I, I would love to be there for that. I'm not interested in the technicality of things, uh, how they set up the lights, what they did with the flash, what they did with the lens, I'm not interested in that. I would love to see the people and how they interacted, because for me that's just as important as all the technical stuff. Okay. What do you like about comedians? What do I like about comedians? They are the joy bringers of, of life. What's better than that? What gets your goat, Andy? What gets my goat? I haven't got a goat, mate. What gets my goat? Um, bullies. Bullying? Yeah, I don't like bullies. Alright. What's the secret of photography? People. Uh, what's the secret of happiness? People. Uh, who have you photographed the most? Hey. <laughs> <laughs> hey, you got that, I think. Done. Not now, mate. I'm, I'm, I'm a bit busy. Can you come back later? All right. 